this video, we'll be looking at using FX Draw with Microsoft Word on a Macintosh computer. So let's imagine we're typing a semester two exam. Most of the work is already done, but I've decided I might add an explanatory diagram to this question. So I changed to FX Draw 5 and pushed the Connect to Word button which will automatically open up all the diagrams that I've drawn for this exam. I want to add a new diagram, so I push the Add Graphic to File button, and I get a new drawing surface. I'll create a graph, right click on the graph, and I'll put in the function. And on the second line, I'll put in the point. There's my graph. Now if I click on the green tick, FX Draw will place that graph back into Word. So let's do some Word things. Change the formatting of the picture so it's got square wrapping. And put it where I want it. Let's look at what else needs doing. That's right. This particular parabola graph needs to be different. So I cop it, copy it to the clipboard and change to FX Draw 5, which searches the diagrams and finds the appropriate one. So I can go and make the change I need to. Green tick. And the graphics updated in Word. I need to change this diagram as well. So I copy it to the clipboard so FX Draw 5 can find the appropriate diagram. It's found it. I right click on the line to edit it. And again, click on the green tick and it returns to Word. Although the workflow is different on a Macintosh computer compared to a Windows computer, FX Draw still allows you to quickly and interactively create diagrams for a Word document. FX Draw lets you draw everything you need to do the job quickly and easily. You can find more information at ffx.com.